Hi guys, Dr. Sunday here from iMedics. Uh, today's short video is about anterior neck lumps uh, and just a quick system that you can have to try and work out what could be the cause. Of course, you'll do further tests like an ultrasound scan, isotope scans in some cases, CT scans, histology uh, from biopsies and so forth. Uh, but in terms of from a clinical side of things, how can you try and work out what the most likely diagnosis will be? Well, basically, if you have an anterior neck lump, which will move on swallowing and protrusion of the tongue, there are two key differentials that come to mind. The first one is a thyroglossal cyst that will just sit here in the middle of your neck here, and that will be kind of cystic, fluctuant. Uh, and the second thing could be what we call ectopic thyroid tissue. Whereas if you flip it the other way and you've got an anterior neck lump that moves on swallowing, but not on protrusion of the tongue. So it's got no relationship at all. Movement of the tongue does not cause movement of the, the lump in the anterior part of your neck. The three key differentials that come to mind are one, a hyperthyroid goiter uh, or thyrotoxic goiter. And these are the ones that you get in patients who've got symptoms of hyperthyroidism. So for example, weight loss, heat intolerance, excess sweating, tremors, diarrhea, for example and their thyroid function tests would show uh, a, a raised T4 slash T3 and a low TSH. The second differential would be an hypothyroid goiter. And so in this, you'll have a patient who's got the classic symptoms of hypothyroidism, so cold intolerance, dry flaky skin, alopecia, bradycardia, constipation, feeling very tired, weight gain. Um, and their thyroid function tests would normally show a, a, a raised TSH, but a low T3 and T4. And the third cause could be what we call a euthyroid goiter, whereby you have a patient who's got no features of hyper or hypothyroidism, and they've got normal thyroid function tests. So just a simple learning point that I thought I'd share with you today. I hope you did find that useful. Uh, I've got a lot more revision on our YouTube channel, Inspire underscore Medics, and our Twitter page and Instagram page, Inspire underscore Medics, as well as our Facebook revision pages um, for Plab 1, Plab 2, MRC, GP, AKT, and CSA. So I hope all this was useful, uh, and I will catch you guys very soon.